What's up everybody and welcome to a RuneScape 3 Iron Man Guide. Today we are taking a look at Vindicta and Gorvik, General of the Zeros Faction in the heart of Gilinor, also known as God Wars Dungeon 2. Unlike the original God Wars Dungeon, God Wars Dungeon 2 does not have any requirements to access, but in order to access the Vindicta boss room, you will require level 80 attack. Thankfully, you can boost for this requirement if you want to start getting Vindicta kills early on in your account. Let's talk about why you would want to kill Vindicta on your Iron Man. Like all bosses in God Wars Dungeon 2, Vindicta drops Anima Core armor, which can be combined with a crest to create tier 80 non-degradable power armor. The Zeros crest will create melee power armor. This armor can be upgraded to tier 85 by combining seals you get from all the God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses, but this is only recommended to do on Anima Core legs for the purpose of disassembling for a large amount of components. This is because Anima Core legs only require two seals to upgrade compared to the body which requires three seals, but they both disassemble for the same amount of components. The real hot ticket item from Vindicta is the Dragon Rider Lance. This is a tier 85 halberd melee weapon. All of the tier 85 weapons that are dropped from God Wars Dungeon 2 are a bit different stat wise than it might sound. They have the same damage as a tier 80 weapon, but with the accuracy of a tier 90 weapon. While that might sound bad on paper, it's important to know that accuracy is often more important than damage for bossing. Before the release of God Wars Dungeon 3 and the City of Santist and Ancient Spells, the Dragon Rider Lance was the gateway weapon for Iron Man to enter higher level PVM like a Raxor. With the current Iron Man gear progression meta, the Lance isn't as important, but it's still an incredibly useful item you will still want whether you'll use it for combat or purely for the Ilukan components to create the extremely powerful Aftershock perk. For recommended stats, you'll want at least 75 hit points, 85 magic and the completion of the World Awakes quest for access to the Sunshine ability, 70 defense, 70 prayer for augury, 68 summoning for Bunyip or 77 for Talon Beast, and 55 invention for the enhanced devoted armor perk. Vindicta is the easiest of the God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses, so you can do this with very early, very basic gear like Vanquish and Lunars. And while that's fine for getting your Reaper tasks done, I would really advise getting a few upgrades before you commit to grinding this boss. In this video I am using a Sun Spear, but that's because I no longer have a Chaotic Staff on my Iron Man. Two higher tiers might not sound like much, but I promise it's a worthwhile upgrade. You should have a subjugation top or legs that are augmented and perked, with enhanced devoted 3 and crackling 3. The only subjugation I've left on this account is the body, but ideally you would have more subjugation than lunars. If you want to use a luck ring, you'll need at least tier 3 luck or better for God Wars Dungeon 2. The Dragon Rider Amulet is a great early game neck slot, but use whatever highest magic bonus necklace you own. For an aura, we're going to be using the Maniacal Aura. And finally, for the pocket slot, bring a god book for a prayer bonus or a sign of life. In the inventory, bring enhanced Excalibur for adrenaline free healing, a super magic potion, prayer potions, a gothic staff, and ruins for the vulnerability spell. Also bring any shield, it doesn't matter what type or what tier, but the higher tier, the better. The rest of your inventory can be desert souls, you shouldn't need much food, even for your first few kills while learning. One last thing we need to discuss before we get to the actual fight. God Wars Dungeon 2 has a reputation system which can do a few cool things, like increase drop rates and reduce required kill count, so make sure you do your bounties at the entrance to God Wars Dungeon 2. These bounties are a great way to get your reputation up, as you can stock up to 5 bounties at a time, so if you hate daily scape you can let it stack up for a few days and then do them all at once. Okay, with all of that out of the way we can move on to the boss fight. For your first kill, attack the mobs outside the boss arena to build 100% adrenaline, then stall using Anticipate and Freedom. At the start of the fight, pray melee and augury. Use Sunshine as Vindicta spawns in and spam your Vulnerability Keybind as you click on Vindicta. Vulnerability will splash sometimes, so if that happens, just keep trying. Once Vulnerability is landed, G-Staff spec as soon as you can. Now DPS as hard as possible. Three auto attacks after Vindicta spins her blades around, Gorvek does a drive-by dragoning and leaves behind a purple carpet. Walk out of the carpet but still stay inside your sunshine. 
Ideally, you should do enough damage to enter Phase 2 of the fight after only two purple carpets. At 100,000 HP, you'll enter Phase 2. Vindicta gains a new attack pattern here. This is where you will need your shield switch. In this phase, Vindicta will do one melee auto attack, a powerful ranged auto attack, and then another melee auto attack. Vindicta will then fly away and drop a purple carpet on you. After the first melee hit, switch to your shield and use Resonance. This will block the range hit and also heal you for a large amount. Vindicta will repeat this pattern until dead. Your Resonance won't be off cooldown for the next range hit, so use Devotion. If you don't have Devotion unlocked, use Debilitate and switch to Prey Range to reduce the damage as much as possible. This is why I recommend having Augmented Gear with Enhanced Devoted to help mitigate damage where possible. Repeat this pattern until Vindicta is dead. After the kill, teleport to Wars to hit their Prayer Altar and Adrenaline Crystal, and repeat. Congratulations, you can now farm Vindicta to your heart's content on your Iron Man. If you are looking for an Iron Man clan that welcomes players of any skill level, join the Iron Rivals clan chat in game. If this guide helped you, consider subscribing to the channel for more Iron Man focused guides. Go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know what other Iron Man guides you want. And remember, it doesn't have to be PVM related. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.